morning everyone, this is Broomster and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Three Tribes by Whatware, who also goes by the set of names Stuart. Um, this is an Entropic Lines puzzle, I've done quite a few Entropic Lines puzzles on my channel before. I really enjoy this constraint, there was the Entropic Lines puzzle pack, I can't remember what it was called, um, that, was, uh, that came out a couple of months ago which had a lot of amazing puzzles in it um, and people have been setting with them. I've set a few myself recently and they're just so much fun. Um, there's also the modular lines puzzle pack which is currently active I think it was uh, yeah uh, yesterday I did the modular lines I'm recording out of order and stuff and there's been a couple of days break. Um, I think yesterday for you, um, the Modular Lines puzzle pack um, came out, um, or video came out, where um, you can go to the Cracking the Cryptic um, uh, Patreon page and for free get a set of Modular Lines packs, which use a similar constraint using a slightly different variation. But this is an Entropic Lines puzzle, which are always fun. Um, other things that I've got going on. So the Race to 37 is currently running. Um, there's a playlist link um, which you can find if you go to my homepage, YouTube homepage, and go to playlists, you will find the Race to 37, where I'm uh, releasing or semi-regularly releasing videos on the Race to 37, which is a killer Sudoku series. Um, and there's also a playlist there, which is my unpublished puzzle videos, which is all about my own puzzles. Um, so rather than just releasing um, my own puzzles as too regularly I'm going to release them occasionally to the main channel but um, I've started recording more of my own backlog of puzzles um, because that was what I originally intended with this channel and I'm releasing them there so that they can stay hidden away and people can find them if they wish to again you can find those in the playlist section of my channel um, I've also set up a Twitter account where I'll announce the video releases that I do there, um, details below. But onto this puzzle, Three Tribes by What Where. Um, not sure why it's called Three Tribes. Um, there's a board game I used to play called Five Tribes, but yeah, I don't know what Three Tribes is supposed to mean. Um, so what do we have? We have normal Sudoku rules apply. In every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We then have the entropic lines. And the way entropic lines work is, um, a each set of three consecutive digits along an entropic line must contain a low digit, one to three, a middle digit, four to six, and a high digit, seven to nine. So if we were to pick three these three digits, there will be a low, a middle, and a high. If we were to pick these three digits, there will be a low, middle, and a high. And if you think about that for just a second, it means that every third digit along an entropic line will have the same strata as what I use because you've got different levels. Um, we've also got crop key pairs, which means that um, cells separated by a black dot will be in a one to two relationship, which basically means one will be double the other. Cell separated by a white dot will be consecutive um, and not all dots are given so with that this should be solvable I have no idea how hard this puzzle is um, I think he hinted that it was average which means half of the puzzles in the world are easier and half are harder I don't know let's give this a shot so um realistically what I'm going to do is look at this line which is seems to be the most prolific and I'm going to color every third cell I think that's every third cell in a particular color now I don't know which color is which so actually uh, yeah I don't know which color is which do I want to I'm actually going to use the gray colors so rather than use my final destination colors I'm going to use greys, and these will be black. Now, what can I tell from this? These are in the same, these are in the same, and these are in the same. So these will either contain an 8, a 5 or a 2. These will contain an 8, a 5 or a 2. These will contain an 8, a 5 or a 2. So I cannot use an 8, a 5 or a 2. Well, I could never have used a 5 on this. But I can't use an 8 or a 2 on this line. So this is 3, 6. Because the only... That's really clever. So the only way you can do a consecutive dot within the same strata is to include the middle digit. And these are all three different stratas 
with consecutive dots. So if this was low, it would have to be one, two, or two, three. If it's middle, it's four, five, or five, six. And if it's high, it's seven, eight, or eight, nine. And these are all different. So the middle digits are all taken up. So I can't use two, five, or eight anywhere else in the box. So the only crop key digits you have are one, two, can't do it, the two's not available. Two, four, can't do it, the two's not available. Four, eight, the can't do it, the eight's not available. Or three, six. So this becomes three, six. That's very cool, which means these are low and middle. This is high. So this is seven, eight, nine with an eight on it. These, so we know that light gray is now high. So I can turn light gray yellow. These are low and middle. One of them is going to be one, two, and the other one is going to be four, five. And this is going to be a seven or a nine. So that is high. That's very cool. Can I do more with that is the question. One, two, four, five. One, two, four, five. So these are also not high because I've got all. So this is seven, eight or nine. So all of the highs in this column are taken up. So those can't be high. I'm just, mm, I really don't want to change these to. So one of these two is high. One of those two is high. This is... There is pressure here, but I'm having trouble seeing it. This can't be high. One of those two is high. This can't be high. If this was high... I'm going to have trouble coloring this, aren't I? I'm going to run into my normal coloring problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put A in the corner of that. I'm going to try this and see how it works. And then I'm going to get rid of all of that coloring. And I'm going to try and do this. Or maybe what I might do, because they're going to be blue green. No, that's worse. So I know that these can only be from A and B, as can these. So these, so this is the same as this. Do I want to actually call that C, even though I know C is from A or B? Sorry, I got a ping. Um, do I want to call one of these C? Not sure how to continue this. I know the coloring would be useful, but I think this line might be where I need to focus because this has got two black dots on it. So this one's got the most information. So I'm going to recolor on this line. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So let's put light gray there, middle gray there, and dark gray or black there. Now, Th 
there's three blacks in here. So these are the same strata. Surely that's going to fix that because there's two black dots on them. So if they were seven, eight, nine, I couldn't put seven or nine on a black dot. Whoops, I don't know what just happened there. If these were seven, eight, no, uh, let me go back in, turn off the C, no, turn off the C, go back in here. If, I'd have to take seven or nine and these would both be eight. So that's not going to work. So they're not high. They could be four, six, or one, two, three. So these are not high. So these are also A or B. So high is one of these. And whichever one that is, because it can be low, because I can use one, two, or three on those. Of course, that's where the three tribes title comes from. I've got tribe A, B, and C. I've got high, middle, and low. So these are high, these cannot be high, so th one of these has to be, this is, the fact that, ah, oh, the colouring on this is going to break me, isn't it? Because I'm trying to do it without colouring, but I'm having trouble visualising, and if I need to match this to this somehow, this can't be black, and it's not. So it can't, so whatever this is, which is A or B, goes there, so it can't be there. So this is different to this. Which is also A or B. So A, B is here and here. but this is different to this. So does that mean that has to be high? Because these are different, because that is there. Hang on, let me just run that through again. So if this is A, this couldn't be A. But could this be A? No, that would put A. Uh, why did I say these are different? Oh, because if they can't be, if this is the same, this would be here and here and here. There's something there and I can't see what it is. This is light gray and mid gray. So this is light gray and mid gray, one of which is high. So black is in one of those two, black is in one of those two. But these can't be high. But this could be, this could be any. I'm not following this at all. I am not following this at all. So 
So we know this is a low and a mid. So we've got one of each in here. We've got two of whatever A is. But that doesn't stop this being A. I don't want to just have to start going AB and color, color all of this and then do the same AB, AB around here and then do it until something breaks. I want to try and find something that is a clear contradiction. And I'm not seeing it. Like I thought there was something between these. Like this digit goes here and here. But it could also go there. And those could be the three of the same in the box, I think. I'm really not looking forward to this, but I think I have no choice but to turn around and say, oh, crikey, I think I have no choice but to do this is now one of those. Yeah, I shouldn't have got rid of that coloring because these are the two mids. Black is in one of those two. Which means it's in one. Do I shade these a different color and then look for contradictions? But I don't have that many colors. And I don't, if I use letters, I'm not going to be able to scan the different letters. Like, Let's give this a shot. I don't know. This is completely, because I can't just do, and maybe I'll need to take notes. So if this becomes C, 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 D, 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 E, E, E. Now this, and then we go F, G, H, F, G, H, F, G, H. Now we could, if I do all of these, I can start making eliminations as to what can be what. So I, J, K, I, J, K, I, J, K, L, M, N, L, M, N, L, M, N. Now, maybe this will give me a clearer picture. So we know that J is either G or F, and this one is the other one. So these are A GF pair. So these are consecutive across strata. So they're three, four, or six, seven. Now, K, this is also three, four, or six. No, hang on. This is a, so this is a black dot across strata. So two, four, three, six, four, eight. Now L and F are 
are either low or I don't understand how to solve this puzzle without just coloring everything and I can't do it because I can't scan these letters. I have no way of solving this puzzle. So there's three N's. So this is an L or an M, but I can't... Do I, I, do I need to sort of tie that M needs to be... It can't be K, so it's I or J. J is F or G, so I need to tie the F or G's back, and we know that G is C or D. So do I need to do all of that rotation back through? I can't do that. I mean, this I, I can't do it with letters. It may be easier with colors, but I can't do it with colors. I don't know how to solve this puzzle. I mean, if I pick a color for not high, I don't know. So, not high. So, F and L are not high. So, these are all not high. And I was able to determine that these were not high because I couldn't do it. So E is not high. So C or D is high. If I could make G not high. I mean, if I could tie these to anything. So I've got two highs in this box already. So M is not high. Actually, M is not high. So what does that do for me? Hang on, L N is high. So those are high. So D is not high. 
D is not high. C is high. So M is not high. So that means I is not high. I is not high. A is not high. I've already had A is not high. What am I even talking about? Stop looking at A, B, and C. That is stupid to do. Now, so this is not high. What can K be? So this is one, two, three, four, or six. Hang on, I've got three high in this column. These are not high. So H is not high. So G is high. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change, this is not D anymore. And I'm going to change all of the G's to C's. I'm going to change all of the N's to C's. This is now FC. This is not high. Actually, none of these are high. This is a silly way of doing it. This is not high, so both of these are high. This feels like a silly way of doing it, but I'm making some progress, so okay. None of these, now I know that none of these are high. I should have colored that a while ago. None of these are high, so this is high. So none of these are high. No, other way. Now I need to get the high in this line. How? That's a high on a black dot. That's eight. E is four. So E is absolutely mid. So these are from five and six. So D is low. And from one, two, three. This can't be a five. This is a six. This is a three. So that is low. This is not three. I'm going to get rid of all these C's. They're kind of useless now that I've got the high coloring. One of these is high, though. One of those is... So these are seven and... Seven and nine. This is seven and nine. Forgot to get the C out of here. This is so tricky to do. There's an eight in here, but that lines up with what I already had. How do I determine this? 
Now, this can't be three or six anymore. So this is one, two, four, or eight. This can't be eight, but that still could be. One of those has to be high. So none of those are high. If that's not high, the highest that that could be is seven, which unfortunately it can be. But one of these is seven or nine. That could be four, eight, I think. This is seven, eight, nine. Can that be the high digit? This is five. There's no five here, which means there's no four here. These are seven, eight, nine. These are seven, eight, nine. These are seven. Hang on, that's three, seven, eight, nines. How do, these are not high. K is not high. J is high. And I've got my not high coloring. Okay, J is high. I can get rid of the... And I can get rid of the CF there. Now, what I need to do now is tie, I think the not high coloring, that is, let me try and finish the high coloring. They, these are not high. I should have done this whole center ring first. This is not high, so this is high. This is not high, so this is high. Any way you solve a puzzle is valid in my book. This is broken. No, it's not. I need... No, this is broken. Where did I... Why did I put... There's three in this box. None of these... Yeah, th those are not high. And now I need three. That's what I did wrong. I colored that wrong. And now I've got all the high. So I can select all the grays and I can get rid of my not high coloring. Now, I've got three mids. This is low. So this is one, two, or three. Now, how do I break into what I've got left? This is two different things and I can't use high. So it's two, four. One, two. Or two, four, or three, six. And it can't be three, six. This is two, four. This is absolutely two, four. I can get the IJ out of their corners there, I think. I don't think I need IJ in the corner there anymore. But I can put 2, 4 in the corner. Because I know M is I. Because J was the high. This is I now, isn't it? Because I've got 3K. So M is can change to being I, which means L can change to being K. That's three Ks in the box. So these are I. So what I need to do is now try and match them up. And this is, I should have also put it in the corner here. This is two, four. Can I get these lining up as well? So yes, I can, because this is not high and is adjacent. H is mid. This may be the most clumsy way you've ever seen of solving, but I'm taking it. So this is six and this is seven. 
this is nine, this is eight, this is seven, these are five and four, there's no four or five in here, and B is low. So these are mid and A in all of its glory. So let's work through this line. This is low, this is low, this is low, this is mid. So this is three, this is six, this is four, this is five. This is seven or nine. Eight has to be in here. So this is nine. This is seven, eight, which means this is nine. There is no nine in here. This is seven, eight, which means that is nine. And this is seven, eight. In fact, I know the order eight and seven, which means this is eight. There is no eight in either of those. Eight is in here, which takes eight out of there, which makes that the eight, which makes that the seven and that the eight. I am missing all sorts of stuff, but I'm progressing in a way that is making me in some way happy. That's five or six. I can take the A out of the corner. It just takes me some time. I can take B out of the corner of those. Now, I've kind of lost the track of what I was doing along here, but I will get back to it. So... Okay. Yeah, I'm still... I'm still not sure. Actually, yes, I am. F has to be low, because I can't put two... So F is low. This is also low. This is a low and a mid. This is a tricky puzzle. This is a mid, so that's a uh, right mode, six. This is a four. This is one, two, or six. This is one or two. I hope I've got this right. This feels very messy. This is not three, so this is three. This is two, four. This is uh, nine and seven. There's no nine in there. This is seven, nine. So this is the eight. This is the seven. This is the nine. This is the seven. This is the nine. This is the eight. This is the seven. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff going on here. These are an eight, nine pair. That's the nine. That's the eight. That's the seven. And that's the nine. Okay. Now, I still need to tie these in, but I am making good progress. This is one, two, three. KI, I still need to... These are a low and a medium. These can't be different. Because if... I can't go to high. So if these were different, they would be a low and a medium. And to do that, they'd be three, four, and I can't use a four. So these have to be the same and they can't be low. So these are both medium, and K is medium. That is a little bit nuts, but it means that I is low. If that was intended, that was very clever. I've struggled a lot with this puzzle, and I apologize to everyone for how much I've struggled with it, but I think... I am now back to doing something a lot more normal. 
but I've really enjoyed what I've found. That sees three lows and three highs. So that is medium. So this is now low. This sees three lows. So this is now medium. Hello, six. This is now low. Hello, not six. Uh, this sees three medium. This has been low for a while, I expect. I just didn't see it. So these are both medium, four, five pair. Um, I'm going to take the A and B out of there while I, because I'm pretty sure I've got all of that stuff done. This now see, that's now got to be a five. This is actually a three. So this is a one or a two. This is a one or a two. Actually, that's a one because this is two and this is four. This is three. This is a one, two. This is four. This is five. This is the oddest solve I have done in a very long time. This is four, six. These are five and six, and that six is telling me that is five and that is six. So this is four. These are four and five, and that four is telling me that is five and that is four. This is now a six, which keeps them consecutive. Four and six makes this five, which makes this six. This is four. These are one, two, and three. That is not three. This is one, two pair. That's the one. That's the two. There is a one here. These are two and three, and I know the order. This is crazy. This is a one. This is a two. This is a three. This is one. This is a two. This two is making this one, which means there's no one in those. This one makes this two and this one. That two makes this three and this two. This is a one, so this is a two. The digits I have to put in here now are three and five, and it's resolved. This is five, this is three. So this becomes mid and this becomes low. This is a two now, and these are a mid and a low. Now this sees four, five, and six. So that's going to be the low. That's going to be the mid. That is the one. That is the six. And that is three tribes. Holy cow. Once again, the letter tool saves me from having to do insane coloring. That was crazy good. I would not... Was a time I would have had to have rejected this puzzle as something I could never have solved. Thank you, Whatware or Stuart. Is it Stuart? Um, for, whoops. Um, for submitting that through. That was absolutely an exploration. Thank you, Sven, for making the letter tool um, so that I could actually work through that puzzle. That was absolutely incredible fun. Um, may not have been as much fun to watch for people who don't solve that way, um, but maybe you're learning something. I hope you are. Um, thank you, everyone, for watching. Check out the other stuff that I've got going on in the channel and other channels are doing as well. Have a look at the Modular Alliance pack on the CTC stuff at the moment. It's free for everyone, at least the first part is. Um, yeah. Uh, Thanks, everyone, and as always, good luck with your solving.